Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my Let's Play series of European Series 4, where we will be playing as France, and we will be going for an achievement, namely the Better Than Napoleon achievement. And for this achievement we need to own Moskva, Berlin and Wien, as you can see here, or Vienna, Berlin and Moscow. And this is Wien, the capital of Austria, Berlin is the capital of Brandenburg and Muscovy is of course the capital of Moskva or Muscovy and um, there's no time limit so we have like all game to do it and we only need to control and call those provinces not the rest so it should be pretty achievable with the big blue blob but let's dive into it first of all let's check out France uh, we can start by checking our rivals so from the start we have Denmark, England and Burgundy who have rivaled us. Well, we are going to be getting to war with England pretty soon, so let's just rival them. As you can see, the start for France has changed quite a bit since the beginning of the game. All of our vassals are gone. Uh, we don't have cores on uh, any of the Provence provinces anymore. And we don't start in a war with England, although we will probably be go going to war with them pretty soon. I think Burgundy is probably also a pretty good um, rival to start with, since we'll probably be going to, to war with them soon. Um, there's something to be said for waiting and maybe trying to go to war with Savoy first. But I think I am just gonna select Burgundy, since they are not part of the Empire to start with us. And I think the last one is gonna be Provence, since again we are they are a nice little country where we can go to war with and get some provinces, so let's just plan them as well. And we have three diplomats we can send off, so uh, we might want to get some alliances to start with. Uh, a nice alliance to get is always Austria, because they are the Emperor. Let's just get all of these options opened. Uh, they are the Emperor, so it's a good idea to be aligned with them to start with. Um, just so you don't have to deal so much with him being a dick if you take anything from from the Empire. Um, we are borrowing the Empire, so we will probably begin to war with some of these nations along the way. Um, then I would probably also like to be allied with Castile, just because they are a big player in the neighborhood. Um, and then I am going to try and claim Navarra as our own. So I think I'm just gonna... I can't ask Lions right off the bat. I'm gonna royal Ma try to Royal Madison and hope they they try for the alliance with me. Let me just set this off. And then the final slot, once we've gotten Castilla as well, will be Scotland. And the reason why I will want to ally Scotland is because I want to go to war with England. And in order to expand as much as possible, I would like to get some provinces here in the mainland of England, the island. And uh, to that end, I need to get some troops over here. And the best way to do that is to get them up there before the war starts. So I'm gonna put all my uh, troops down here and I'm gonna ferry them up to Scotland. And then we're gonna declare the war. Um, we also need to select a mission. We will just... Mm, we can reclaim Normandy or we can solidify papal relations. I think... I think we'll do the papal relations thing and see if we can get that out of the way before um, before the war maybe. Just gonna send a, a guy there right away. We are gonna send our fleet out. Uh, Goto. Let's look at the trade. Um, See, we are in three trade nodes currently. We are in the Bordeaux node right here. Our capital node is the Champagne node. And then we are also in the Genoa node where we are collecting. I think once we get Pro Provence and maybe also a bit more of this territory, we'll probably move our trade capital down here and uh, send trade on down here. But uh, so far I'm happy enough with just collecting down here. Um, we also need to hire some advisors, and we should probably turn down our army maintenance for now. We will hire a... we'll just hire plus one's production efficiency, good enough. 
uh, trade efficiency or diplomatic reputation. I think I'm gonna go with the diplomatic reputation guy since we aren't that big on trade from the beginning anyway, so I think he'll help us more in the start. And then we're gonna go for, yeah, just this lands, not force limit modifier. I don't think I'll be building up to that though. I think I'll just be building seven more seven more infantry down here uh, just to um, take care of the sieges on this side of the um, this side of the water and yeah let's start Austria wanted the alliance the Vara married us let's get the alliance with Castile as well let's go to speed four um, some alliances some alliances Oh, and England allied Navarra as well. Interesting. That that might be a problem if you wanna vassalize them. Hmm. Maybe we should get a quick war with Pirwans before England then, so we can vassalize Navarra before. I would really love to get that free province. So I think I'm gonna send a diplomat to replicate a climb on Provence. Uh, we'll probably see if we can maybe fabricate one more claim for uh, before the war. I don't want to be taking too much provinces from them because um, uh, we will be fighting a lot of wars here so we don't want to get too much aggressive expansion. Oh and yeah there's the whole Embargo thing. We have royal marriage offers from Castile and from Austria. We're gonna take those. We are gonna send a diplomat and embargo England. We are gonna embargo Burgundy and we are gonna embargo France. And all of our I'm just gonna put them in the other armies if we're gonna go to war with Ruans first. Then we can split them up once we go to war with England. And we need to get someone down here. Let's get the alliance. And England is trying to vassalize as well, you can see. Let's get someone there to improve relations. Um, we have two generals right now. I would like to keep them. We are gonna get a a free leader once we get to 25 power projection, and I can live with losing some military points until then. So right now we have focus on diplomatic. I don't want that. Should I get a administrative focus or no focus? I think I'm gonna get the administrative focus right off the bat, just because we're gonna be coring a lot of provinces. So it might be nice to get that, get those extra points. And sorry, I'm still, I'm a bit sick. So sorry if I sniffle a little bit. Anyway, we are waiting for that claim now. Let's improve relations with Navarra so we can get that vassalization. And let's look at our naval force limit. We can afford one more ship. Let's build one more trading ship. So we can earn a little bit more of trade. Maybe we should actually send them down in Genoa and, uh, because we're collecting there. I think I'm gonna check that out. So right now we are earning about four ducats and I'm gonna set them down to Genoa and see what happens. Probably have to wait till next month before it takes effect. Yeah we're gonna earn more by having them down there. Since we're gonna go to war with Provence first, I'm gonna send my main fleet down there so we can blockade when we declare the war. And 
right, right, we're just waiting for the claim. England is in alliance with Konact. Uh, should, we should probably secure the alliance with Scotland just so we can start earning favours. If you haven't uh, learned about the new system. And now uh, the alliance system has changed so that um, you don't automatically get to call in your alliances in offensive wars. Uh, you have to give them some incentive to join. Uh, one of the incentives is that you can gain favors by being in alliance with them for a, for a long time. You get one favor every year. Also, if you help them in any wars, you'll get favors. Um, and um, you can also call them in if you promise them land, but they will only go to war uh, if they are interested in their provinces. And if you can see here, this is Castile. Uh, the green area are their own land, of course. The yellow area are things that they have an interest in. And the red ones are the ones where they uh, feel that they are of vital importance to their to their country. So they would really like to get all of this red area, and they would also want to go to war for the yellow area. Uh, let's set it up for ourselves. We might as well get the Provence things in. Say that's ours. And we got the claim, let's start another one. But uh, we'll get uh, the biggest development province. 20, 21, 16. Let's just get a claim on Andrew then. And then we can start the war soon. Fabricate claim on Andrew. We don't want a royal marriage with Scotland because we are gonna end the alliance at some point, so we don't want to be tied up by a royal marriage. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a couple months and then I'm gonna raise the army maintenance and we're gonna go to war. By waiting a little bit, we get progress on this claim and um, I believe the progress is halved once you um, go to war. So okay, we're gonna put the guy here, this guy here. Might as well move him up here so he can get that stack or that cavalry right away. We're gonna put our whole fleet here and vacate his port. And we get five prestige. Can't, can't complain about that. And how are we looking with the paper relations? Going close. Austria entered a military alliance with Siena. Does Provence have any... Provence doesn't have any Alliances, which is really good. <laughs> Let's wait and see if we can get some mission after getting the papal relation stuff. Uh, we need the last tick of the wild anyway. Our king died! That is a problem. Uh, we get a 432, which is okay, but we lose stability, which is not perfect. I guess we'll have to spend a hundred points so we're not a negative stability. Which is pretty shitty. That was a really, really early time for him to die. That was really annoying. Uh, and the next thing is uh, sort of okay. Not the best, not the worst. That was a really annoying, annoying death. We got this to let buy paper raisins. Let's get Royal Mary from Noara again. What can we get as missions? We want to save the French and people in Maine, get a free claim. Yes, let's do that. So now we have claims on Maine, on Provence, and we're going to get one around here. Let's declare this war while they don't have any, any alliances. They of course have Lorraine as their vassal, but... I don't think Lorraine is as a two province minor it's gonna cause us a lot of trouble, so let's just We're gonna declare for Provence. Wait. Maine is actually we're gonna declare for Maine since they don't have a port there. Uh, that would be much cheaper. So let's just cross this stack and cross this stack. Let's go down to speed three so we can. So we crush the stack up in main, let's leave one guy behind and um, 
go down here and leave some men. Uh, let's just leave. How much do we need? Um, nine, so let's leave ten. And then we're gonna march on with the. I think we actually need. We just need to go and press this guy first. So we can go back. And here we all. We need to leave seven. We just need. Oh, we leave, have to leave six. Uh, I usually leave seven just so uh, that disease outbreak won't break the siege. But we can get this guy down there afterwards. So we're just gonna send this army up here, send this extra trading ship down, and help the blockade. Get this army up here. It's a bit here that we had to fight in the mountains, but. I can just follow them around here and squash them. Really nice. And we step right up here. Let's move these guys to in here and take that province as well. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Disease outbreak and there are too few to see the province. Okay, up here we need six as well. Uh, so let's move these two out. Oh, there's too little, so we'll have to leave one of them. I'm just moving them out so that uh, the attrition one is less. Here we needed to leave uh, nine. Leave these. Move these guys up here. Leave one guy and move these out. So you don't get attrition. Save some manpower. And that was a nice little quick engagement. We still have to seize down these, but we can't get there because of this fort. Okay, we have a diplomat free. We might as well keep improving in the papal, papal state just to get that extra papal influence. Um, oh, we start with two cardinals, so we get a lot of influence. Um, the papal system has been changed a while ago, but it's um, it changed so that you can like it used to be that you could kind of secure the papacy if you are a big nation, uh, because you could just get all the cardinals and control it. And now you can can't really secure it, but instead you can get all of these nice things for your papal influence. Uh, you can get uh, tax, you can get legitimacy, you can get inflation reductions, you can get Diplomatic reputation, mercantilism, you can get manpower, uh, power recovery speed, you can get stability, and you can get prestige. So, uh, while being the paper controller is nice and gives you uh, diplomats and stuff, uh, these things are what really are the, the big plus in, in the ca Catholic religion now. We basically took out all of their army. Uh, the only way they can, like, the only place they can build up is here. So I think I'm gonna actually chance to go up to speed four just to get to these cities a little bit quicker. Just waiting around. This is going really quickly down here because of the three seas general and the blockade. Uh, not diplomat died, not one we had our employ right now, but I think once we have these three these sieges done, we'll probably have enough to take the provinces that we have claims on. We're just gonna leave it at that I think. The fleet attack down here. Hopefully we can sink most of that. We got Boroa as well, so let's move this in the kill here. Seems like we are sinking the fleet. We did lose a few ships. We 
This is not optimal. We did get three prestige, which is nice. So let's send them into repair, and we might as well start building their replacements right away. We lost one bark and three cogs. Uh, and now we're building them back again. So now we are just waiting for Endure to fall. <coughs> and we got Mets. Yes, it moved to down here. We might as well get full control. Um, with the fort system, changed a couple passes to go. Um, you can't get a province if there's a fort in it unless you occupy it, so we have to wait for Endure. Um, but it is getting to that point where I'm gonna end the video. Uh, Salzburg just got eaten by Austria. Interesting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and hope uh, you will come back for the next one. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, that will help me out a lot. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.